We're finally in a comfortable position financially, facilities, and our drivers. We just need to tweak those brakes. I think everyone knows at this point we are spinning a lot. But we saw in Austria that it's also happening to other teams. So if we get the, the drop on them, maybe we're uh, going to see some progress. We reached the Hungarian Grand Prix, looking pretty uh, obsolete down in third, and obviously the board confidence is low. We know it's getting tough, and obviously Alan Prost is the one that's financially ruined us. But we are going to go with the series until we can, and with that comes the Hungarian Grand Prix. Our upgrades have obviously done us well in Austria. We saw good performances there. We just now need to work and improve on that to bring the board back on our side. So fingers crossed, this is the one. There were no real major updates to give you guys, uh, we just built some more parts, refurbished a lot of facilities, so we should be at full running again. Our balance is good, you can see it's 5 million down in the corner there. I think we've set up the team well again, it's just a bit late I think. So hopefully, well hopefully I'm wrong, that's to start with, but hopefully we can actually make uh, progress on Williams. If we can show that we can continuously finish on the podium, that's including Schumacher then we might have a chance of turning this around. We definitely fell short of what we should have got there. But if you look at the times overall, there's only a couple tenths difference between us and Gerhard Berger and Patrese. Mantle has pushed himself a little bit further, but there's some good signs here for a podium. Schumacher, though, is the big disappointment. He is well off the pace. We do have a good setup. The, you know, we got the, the guys working 97, 86. So I did mess up a little bit there. I tried to adjust it. A bit it was at 91 but 86 should still be a good starting position we now have to just go into this race open for some really really good result um, and i'm just looking at strategy wise and it's uh, a medium hard for this one those tires are not going very well and that doesn't look like much pushing we're gonna leave fuel we're gonna try and avoid pushing them too much we've seen what happens we've seen what happens. we don't push but hopefully that can uh, help us and uh, we're gonna go from there starting fifth and sixth in hungaro ring not an ideal place where you can't overtake other than the main straight. Maybe they'll prove us wrong and, and show us a different place, but I don't think so. I'm still full of positivity, though. Without further ado, here it is, the Hungarian Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. I was a bit early on that one, as Trost is moving his way forward, trying to get alongside the guys. He looks to be well alongside the Williams, as he's going to make a move around the outside of Patrese. Can he stick it? I don't think he can, and Schumacher under pressure from PK. Looks like Prost is going to get it this time. I think he has, and that's Patrese moved, and well, will that's a Williams on the grass. Not where you'd want to be normally. Patrese still trying around the outside. Schumacher, though, has a... Oh, is he just about squeezing it up to the top of the hill? He has. I think he's re going to retain that. But this is not what we want to see from the second Ferrari driver. We need him to be pushing on and getting good moves further up the field, as Prost is doing. And, uh, that, yeah, confirmation that he did re-overtake PK, but he needs to do a lot better than that. Berger up next for Prost, and, well... Berger putting a lot of pressure on Mantle up ahead. Senna, as usual, is just pulling away like nobody's business. Under pressure now from Patrese. Pross just keeping himself in a good position here. Apologies if the game has a bit of a frame rate issue. Not sure what's going on. Hopefully it's not too noticeable. Schumacher's doing all right holding on to it there, but he's still some way off. Drop the rest of the pack as we've been doing all of the last couple seasons. It is a top six fight. Senna, meanwhile, though, on his own, just doing whatever he likes, really. He's got no concerns from anybody around him. Mansell's two seconds behind in three seconds is uh, a ridiculous gain he has over others. But that is, that is Senna. At this point in time, that is what he was like. Schumacher still remains seven to eight tenths off the pace. Uh, we will push him a little bit just to get him back up alongside. 
pray for our souls on this one. As there's a yellow flag in Sector 2, it is behind, luckily. So uh, <laughs> I think it was PK going wide. So I was very surprised to see this, but Schumacher is going alongside Patrese into the chicane. Not a place you'd look to overtake. And I think he's going to get the move done. He's, he's certainly uh, going to keep being forced out by the Williams. Get the stewards involved there. That is a closely fought one. And my God, he is uh, sticking with them as tries to hold on to it continuously through Sector 2 into Sector 3. Has to tuck in behind, but... Uh, Scared to see what Schumacher might be able to do coming up to this one. I'll turn him down for the moment. See if he can get it without having to push too hard. And then we're going to try and get them pulled along by Prost, who's hopefully going to take a uh, burger on this main straight now that we're telling him to push a little bit because burger has pulled away from us and there you go patrese has gone defensive straight away against schumacher although we've told schumacher to lift off so it probably won't make a difference as Prost there uh, nearly got taken out by from the back by patrese he almost pit maneuvered him there and uh, things are gonna hopefully spice up in just a moment once again burger goes defensive has Prost got enough in him to get him around the outside? Oh, I think that's a tricky one. It's Hungara Ring. He's going to attempt it, but it doesn't come out there for him. And both our drivers now pushing just a little bit for a couple of laps. See what they can gain from this pack. And Schumacher goes for a dive down the inside. And Patrese also goes wide. Has he crashed? No, he hasn't crashed, but he has uh, come off circuit. And uh, there you go, peeps. Uh, we're going to definitely take Schumacher off pushing out. No pressure for him from behind. Uh, he's just going to have to stick with these guys and see what he can make of it. And, of course, Schumacher does. What would I expect? He's not pushing, and he goes and locks up. That's, uh, that's always the <laughs> fun thing in this. He's out. He is out. Checked Prost tires, because uh, maybe that could have been it. Oh... Guys, what do I do? What do I do with this kind of driver? Oh, I don't even have the funds to replace him, but I'm very tempted to. Yeah, he, uh, he needs sorting out. So he is still in the race, in fact, but I'm sure there's plenty of damage to the car. Front wing, minor damage. I think we're going to have to keep him going until his uh, designated pit stop. But yeah, very disappointing from the Ferrari driver. We've had a crash at turn 13. What is it going to be like? That's round about the last four corners. Oh, he's just gone straight on. Uh, I wouldn't have said that was quite a crash, but okay. He's uh, slowly tapped the wall. Apparently there's been a crash involving many cars. This is... Oh, that's not a place you want to go wheel to wheel. And I can see where it's going. Oh, it's the Williams of Patrese, is it? I didn't realise he'd fallen that far back, and now with a penalty. So, um, Schumacher's got a lot of work to do, but that means there's a potential still getting fifth, I would say. If we're very lucky. Uh, Prost, meanwhile, has been sticking to the back of Berger very well. I, I'm trying not to push him too much. You see him slowly trying to make moves, but we can see there's not much tyre life to give here. We want to get to lap 30 comfortably. I think we're going to save it until maybe closer to pit window to see if we can get anything from a podium, basically. So, Berger has had a spin at turn 12, and, well, that's what we needed. We put the pressure on, and he lost it. We don't want to be pushing um, Prost at all. If we just slow it down, you can see, tyre-wise, they're all uh, roughly about the same, but the gap now is three and a half seconds, so comfortably in a good position now we need to maintain this Schumacher meanwhile doing a lot of uh, attempted overtakes I was actually originally trying to check the uh, lap time difference a 119 he's doing so he's maintaining a good lap time in comparison to the others still losing a bit but it means we should make our way through the field hopefully comfortably um lap 30 is obviously still a long way to go so I think uh, at this point it's probably going to be our next update so with Schumacher getting stuck behind, I think it's time to pit him just to get it out of the way. His tires are struggling a bit more than Prost. Prost, I'm actually happy to maybe go past lap 30. Um, yeah, I don't really know. So he's just gone to lap 29 now. Um, this is uh, Schumacher pitting lap 28. Very confusing when the counter is applied to the whole race. But yeah, Prost actually on... Sorry, not on lapping. Lapping drivers at this point. 
So what I'm going to do, I am going to push him. I'm going to risk it. We're just going to push him to his uh, pit stop and uh, see if we've gained enough out of that. So decide to call him in on lap 30. I don't think there's any need to push him any further than that. Senna's just come out of the pits, still ahead. Mansell just up the road. He's more than what I can challenge to, although he's just lapped Patrese, interestingly enough. Um, Michael Schumacher, a little bit further up the road. Hasn't been lapped yet, but at risk, very much at risk of that. Only interesting point to note is that Berger has continued on. He's uh, decided he's still got enough in him, which is true. But I think in some clear space, whereas I don't believe he's in clear air. No, he's got some lap cars coming up. He may get slowed down, and that's going to benefit us a little bit. Schumacher, meanwhile, still has a lot of time to make up seven seconds to the next driver, and then it's a few seconds between each until we reach uh, Moreno, who's obviously very much a lot further back behind Prost. But still chances for Schumacher to get this, and I'm going to take Prost off push. As we said, we don't want him to kill his tyres, and he is in a comfortably strong position. I think once Berger pits, we'll be easily in third. As Prost crossed the line and passed Berger, Berger has only just left his pit box, so Prost in great position at the moment. We'll just see what he can do in comparison to Mansell. Might as well provide some form of update as we've uh, not had much going on in this race. We're on lap 45. Schumacher's up into 8th, only 2 positions away now from points. But he's got a lot of time to make up between Brundle and Moreno. Um, I, do, I want to avoid pushing him, I really do. Prost, meanwhile, is uh, comfortably ahead of Berger and comfortably behind Mansell. The, the gaps just keep both increasing. So we're not complaining to the podium. I really don't want to risk anything with Prost at this point. We are trying to get points badly. If we can get into points with Schumacher, it means our battle with Patrese and Williams in general can be uh, nulled a little bit. So to my shock and probably just misread uh, what they were on, I believe the guys all in front of Michael Schumacher were on the hard tyres. And that is Michael going past PK, I believe, is it? No, is that Mobadeno? No. Oh, it's just someone coming to the pits. That's a Benetton. Ah, one of the Benetton's further back. Sorry, it was Prost going past. I was on the completely wrong driver. But Michael Schumacher has uh, overtaken everyone that was in the pit lane originally. So it was Mobadeno, uh, Bourdais, Moreno, Brundle. They all pitted. So now it's just closing this 15-second gap to PK to take fifth place for two points rather than a point. So I'll put, what was it? He goes 10, then... 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. Yes, it does. So we'll equal William's points if we can get him up into 5th, which is still not great. And I'm frustrated at his accident he had because we could have both been up there challenging for third place. But the main advantage is that Patrese is well and truly out of that top 6 reckoning, struggling down here. We didn't even replace Schumacher's wing because he's not actually needed it. And it would have been a waste of uh, a part. A dilemma comes into my mind with 17 laps to go, 13 seconds to push. Do we put Schumacher on a little bit of pushing with his fuel? Four extra laps of fuel. I think I'm going to have to until he catches up these lapped cars. I'm going to take that risk. Those are not words we like to see. I just saw it on track. He lost all the time he gained there. It was at turn 12, I believe. He'd overtaken the lapped cars and lost it where we saw Berger lose it. Twice in this race, I think that is now. I'm not going to push him. We're going to leave him there just to gain a point. That's all we can wish for, I think, at this point from him. So Senna is on his last lap. I think um, there's nothing really we could show. Uh, it's been a pretty quiet race. I, I always expect Hungaro Ring to be a bit like Monaco in that regards, unfortunately. Not many highlights. Oh, they've got enough to have shown you some good content, but... The Schumacher situation, he has not closed the gap at all. And in fact, Prost is closer to Schumacher. That's how slow that bottom line has been at the Hungara ring. He's playing tires are warm. Let's just get him to con no, uh, not, not conserve, sorry. To go light on the tires. Obviously, that is um, Senna having crossed that line now. So these two will follow suit shortly. There we go, as Schumacher recovers to sixth in a poor race, he crosses the line. Shortly behind him in third is Prost, taking that podium spot and doing a really good job there to uh, improve upon that qualifying result. So there we have it, the final result. Senna absolutely dominating that race from start to finish with not even a slight 
um, inconvenience, I don't think, for him. And Alan Prost does gain two places to come third. And unfortunately, Schumacher stays in sixth. How does that affect the driver's championship? I don't think it's going to really affect it too much. Um, Prost does close on Patrese, getting a little bit further there for fourth place. Schumacher just gaining solitary points, not really doing very much. And on the constructors, I believe we still lose out by a point. We do. So unfortunately, not looking good. There is a fear that we may get sacked by Ferrari. Um, I wouldn't blame them, to be honest. You can see, guys, the, the progress from the board is not good. They're okay with the races, but objectives and finances have been disappointing. The finances are due to when we were in debt. Obviously, we've recovered that for the last couple of months. And uh, the objectives for 2022 were not achieved. So we're getting a bit close to the bone here. I hope you guys are still enjoying this series. Most of the I've given you two options kind of, or two scenarios what's going to happen. We're going to get sacked and then that is this over. Or we try and get to season three and win season three. It's going to end at season three at the most. And then the intention would be to have one last modern series before F Man Manager 23 comes out. And hopefully, I'll be able to produce a video on when they release the trailer. Still waiting for that. They've only just given us little teasers. And that really is it. And I hope you guys are still enjoying this series. It is a more than tricky one. And I've loved every moment of it still, as much as Schumacher makes me want to throttle him. We move on to Spa next time out and fingers crossed we get some new MFD points to do some upgrades or maybe some research for Season 3. Until that next one guys, take care.